Being single as you grow and develop, you realize it's an immature thing to say what doesn't exist in the dating pool based on your own negative experiences. To make absolute statements like there are no good men or women and everybody cheats and marriage doesn't work is both delusional and arrogant. Most statements like that that focus on the negative frustrations with relationships are birthed out of individual experiences. But it is realistic to acknowledge that it's more challenging now to find people that are faithful, committed, have virtuous character. And three things I have discovered are very difficult to find on today's dating scene is number one, a captivating conversation with healthy and respectful guidelines, a mature communicative exchange because so many people are conversationally dominant, topically shallow, or they're overly demanding. I don't want this and I don't want that. Well, can we get some patience in the pace? Because I don't even know if I want you. <laughs> Number two is very difficult to find someone that has a genuine untainted relationship with Jehovah God because people are into everything now. They worship Jesus, but they worship the ancestors. They juggle rocks. They burn sage. They sacrifice kittens. They sing on the praise team, but they pay ties to aliens. It's all over the place. And three, it is difficult called to find those with genuine intent that want to build a relationship on the foundation of love, faith, honesty, trust, kindness. I'm not buying you a bag. I'm not paying your bills. I'm not taking you to Dubai to have a conversation with you. Like 50 Cent said, you think I'm a sucker, huh? However, even though it's challenging, I've learned that you can't base everything on your city, your experiences, social media, or else you will come to a toxic conclusion about the possibility of love. We have to accept that the world is bigger than our world and possibility is bigger than our experiences. If we only think bad, we won't attract good. Shows and food.